Praise God. So the next topic we're talking about today is freedom from procrastination. My name is Dr. Trace Bright. This is my husband, Dr. Anthony Bright. We're the pastors and founders of Walnut well Christ Ministries. We welcome you all again to our teaching on the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. And this is part seven. When the Holy Spirit being sent down from heaven can free us from being pro procrastinators. Amen. And what's the person that pro who's the person that procrastinates? A lot of times, the root cause of procrastination is fear of failure. <clears throat> fear of failure is the biggest uh, root cause of procrastinating. If a person cannot get rid of fear of failure, then they'll continue to procrastinate. Okay, so when you um, so you have to ask the Holy Spirit to help you to stop procrastinating, get rid of every fear of failure. And that way you can continue to keep the timing with the Holy Spirit by walking His priorities. So let's pray a prayer right now for everybody in the listening, viewing audience to get rid of procrastination and fear of failure. Let's say this prayer. You say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I ask you right now, I ask you right now to set me free, to set me free from every spirit, from every spirit of fear, of fear and of failure, of failure and fear of failure, fear of failure right now, right now. Free me from this. Free me from this. And fill me up, and fill me with, up your Holy Spirit, with your Holy Spirit and fire. And fire. Also Holy Spirit. Also Holy Spirit. Set me free, Set me free from, all from all procrastination. Help me, Holy Spirit. Help me, Holy Spirit. To move in your timing. To move in your timing. And I'll never procrastinate again. I'll never procrastinate again. I'll always move, I'll always move with, you, with you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. For setting me free. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Now if you pray that prayer, you meant it from your heart, I believe that you're set free from fear of failure and procrastination. And God wants us to continue to keep on keeping in Him and not and not look back. Amen. Amen. Now it's very important. <clears throat> David says the one in nineteen verse sixty, and make haste and delay not to keep your commandments. If David doesn't proclaim it, some people are too slow to move. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why are they slow to move? Fear of failure, fear of losing. They are not trusting the Lord. If you are trusting the Holy Spirit, it's not your ability. It's not our ability. It's His ability in us. So you can move confidently. Confi confidently, hallelujah. Because these are confidence, not our own. See? We cannot live the Christian life. We cannot stay up and move with the Holy Spirit without His help. Mm -hmm. Without us willing to cooperate with Him. Not to delay. See? Some people, their blessings be delayed because they are. They are delayed in obeying God. God delay. All delay obedience is what? Disobedience. Yes, amen. Thank you. Jesus. And wonder why, why nothing good is happening to them. Because they are always putting this up. Can't move. If they want to do things when it's convenient to their flesh, not what the Holy Ghost tells them to do. Amen. And um, also, we read in the Old Testament about the children of Ishakar who knew the times and the seasons. And this is in First Chronicles. Chapter 12, verse 32. Let's go to First Chronicles 12, 32. And it reads, And of the children of Ishakar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were in there at their commandment. Praise God. So we see that because they understood the timing of God, then they were able to move with him and be in the right place at the right time, and not procrastinate. Praise God. Because any battle that you uh, delay to fight, you're always going to lose. Amen. Anything, that, any blessing that God wants to give to you, and you delay and you don't do it, you have paperwork to fill out, you've got um, things to file, then you're always going to pay consequences. Let's say if you don't file your taxes on time, you're going to have to pay a penalty. There's always a penalty for not moving in God's timing. And that's why we, it's so key for us to be all on time and not procrastinate. Amen. And not put off things that God wants us to do. Because there may be a life, a life out there that's uh, desperately in need of your help. And if you don't move in God's timing and procrastinate, then that person may never be reached. And he will hold that, you accountable because you didn't um, do what he asked you to do. Amen. That's true. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. You don't want to go that way. <clears throat> Excuse me. You want to move perfectly in harmony with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a person. It's always moving. That's why it's written in Second Corinthians chapter three, 
Verse 17 says, The Lord is that spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Verse 18, uh, we, we move from glory to glory, even by the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we see that God, the Holy Spirit, is always changing, always moving, and most of the people are left behind because of their pride. Pride people know God are far off. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Humble people are united mm -hmm. in their harmony with the Holy Spirit. They don't miss their blessing. The blessing God speaks to them will manifest because they are walking obedient. They are walking rebelliously. They fulfill the blessing. It will never come back. If you come back, we come back in a lesser degree, not to a higher degree. Hallelujah. We are supposed to, to receive everything God has given to us. That is our, our receptivity to the Holy Spirit, our sensitivity to the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. so that we can move promptly, discerning that this is the time. If I don't do this at God's timing, it may never happen again. So I have to drop everything and go, go God's way. We, God has used us many, many over the years to do things promptly, to our, our approaches, hallelujah, praise the living God. So we don't really that it and drag our feet and co have a cold feet and put, put all things, hallelujah, praise the living God. See, when you do that to God, God will do the same thing to you. Or by man's sword that shall reap. So we don't have blessed to be delayed, to be suspended, because we are not promptly responding to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And, and you can ask, um, I husband said earlier that scripture in Psalm 119, verse 60, when David said, I made haste and delayed not to keep your commandment. You can ask, pray that into your life, say, Holy Spirit, help me not to delay, help me to make haste and keep your commandments always. Help me to move in your perfect will, your perfect way, your perfect timing always. Help me, Holy Spirit. And then He will, because you called on the Lord. It's the same one who calls on the Lord. He'll, he'll help that person. He'll deliver them. Amen. You have to understand flesh hates to go with God. Flesh always tries to oppose the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's against it. But praise the Lord. Pray this chapter. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I ask you. I ask you. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. From all unrighteousness. Save me now. Save me now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let not your blessing. Let not your blessing. Pass me. Pass me. Cover me. Cover me. With the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. I'm free. I'm free. To serve the Lord. To serve the Lord. Some of you have been having hip problems. Christ is healing you. Christ is having. Christ is healing some of you. Uh, their bowels. Christ is healing. Hallelujah. Insomnia. Christ is healing. So many, 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 many infirmities in our audience. Hallelujah. Remember, run through your medication away, check with your physician, and uh, keep doing anything. Go before someone on the wheelchair, get up and walk. Lord, and Jesus healed someone's hip pain. Amen. Hip pain. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is good. Hallelujah. Start, start to do anything you couldn't do before. Hallelujah. Because God is healing you, receive your healing. See, the healing is not received, will not manifest. Receive and believe, and the word of God will be made real. And truthful to you, hallelujah, because God's word never fails. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You don't have to, you don't have to feel anything to receive, because God's word says, so, so I receive from, your, from my heart. And when your heart is hard, you cannot receive until you repent. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I repent. I repent. And I renounce I repent. all sins, all, sins. all transgressions. All transgressions. Thank you, Thank you for making me whole. For making me whole. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.